Hey friends, it is spring. Pussy Willow is blooming nicely. I was gonna cut some of it to bring it inside, but it just looks so nice out here. It's a nice reminder. Spring has sprung. I was actually foraging for my smoothie and I dug up in here some wild lettuce. And this is the, the root of it. My husband hates all of this stuff, but I keep this close to the house so that I can just come out and get what I need and go back inside if it's not great, the weather. I've got some purple dead nettle here, some cleavers, and lots of small baby dandelions. So all of these plants that grow now are supportive of getting you transitioning from winter to spring. So it helps to move the lymph, helps the kidney and the liver. You can see the daffodils are blooming. We've got our plumbago blooming, which is medicinal as well. Everything is greening up. We've got a few tete-a-tetes that have come up on their own. Our poppy, spirea is budding out. Bee is playing, doing what she does best. Right, ready, here. And you could see the elderberries are leafing out more trimmed off any of the old wood. We've got yellow dock, another great foraging. A mullen that I see from this garden bed that again is being taken apart. Yes! So we dug out some of the fennels that were in here. There was four or five fennels. Some baby horseradishes. I potted them up to give to a friend because once you plant horseradish, you have it forever. The other fennels in here, but you could see, so all the soil is out. Mostly, there's still a small pile here, but the weather has not been cooperating. It's been chilly and raining. And I think it's going to rain again tonight. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, but it's 3 o'clock. It's not raining right now. So I thought I'd go out, forage, shoot a video, show you what's going on in the garden. Our sage is starting to send out some new leaves. See some new growth here, which is exciting. Our marshmallow's got new growth at the bottom. This is our geranium. And this is not, what is this? I can't remember. Valerian. That's my valerian. That's why it's important to label. Wormwood, not a geranium. This is motherwort, but it's not looking so hot. This is the one that had like a disease a few years ago. So there was some growth here, but it's not looking so good. But I have a baby one in there, so that'll be okay. It's our skull cap here. Also doesn't really have any signs that anything is happening. The lovage, this is honeysuckle, which is encroaching astragalus. Clary sage, Ooh, not looking so good either. Fever few. Again, everything is kind of really starting. To, I don't know how this got rooted in here. That's not even a fever few. That's something else. Oh, look, there's some worms. That's good. Let them do what they're doing. Oh, there's another motherwort in here. Here's a motherwort, so I can always dig it out. This is a horseradish in here. There's some horseradish there. Fennel. Again, I put in our onions. Sets. We get like a medley. The garlic is growing nicely. Oh, squirrel dug one of those onions up. Every time I come out here, I check because the squirrels come in here. B, get out of there! and dig up the onions. Yep, here's another one dug up. And then they realize they don't want to eat them and they just leave them there. So what would suck is if I didn't catch it and it died, and then it would be a waste. So I try to come out here every day at least, as much as I can to just check on everything, make sure nothing is disturbed. Oh, this is the elephant ear garlic. It's finally growing, which is exciting. I've never grown that before. Or I think I did grow it, and the vole ate all of it, so I got nothing out of it. But you can see this is a small motherwort here, small one here, small one here, small one here. There's more garlic in here because I ran out of space. I didn't want to put the garlic in with the medicinal beds and crowd it out. But you can see B is getting into trouble. Status normal. I did take her for a walk yesterday at the park. Hey, you! Ah! Stop making trouble. 
Get out of there. But, you know, this is the time that the ticks are out, so I am very cautious with where and when I take her. But you can see these daffodils getting ready to open as well, right under the solar. Kind of got a little shelter. These ones are really close. <clears throat> you can see the rose bushes are coming back. We've got some garlic in here growing. This is where I took some cleavers from. The hellebores begin to open, which is always a good sign. Sometimes it starts early and it gets damaged, which is what happened to the one over here. Even the corvels look a little rough. They kind of all got damaged from that really cold frost we had. We didn't have it often, but the few times we had it, things had started to grow because it was mild, and then they got hit back. So I want to keep an eye on them, make sure they're okay. This is our volunteer yucca plant that just popped up in like November. So I'm going to use the root because yucca is cassava and I don't, I eat cassava. So I thought I would use it. Here's our fig. It's actually looking okay. So we took the cover off because it was moving around a lot with the wind because it's always windy in our backyard. So even now it's a little chilly because it's windy, but the sun is out. Right, being the sun is out, so we come out. I wanted to just show you quickly. I cleaned up all the green stalks. I did sow some peas in here. Nothing has germinated yet. I put some lettuce. I don't think a parsley's gonna make it, which is too bad, but it wasn't doing good in the house. This is that chamomile I'm trying to salvage from the winter sowing, but I did put a bunch of peas in here. I filled up probably at least 10 pockets with peas because we didn't really have a good pea harvest or string bean harvest last year or cucumber harvest. So this is what I have going on. I took what I have downstairs. I brought it all up if it was cold weather. We've got kale, giant cabbage, one Napa that survived. In here we've got broccolis. They're looking a little rough, but they're still holding on. Three Romanesco cauliflowers, some spinach, still germinating. So we'll see what happens. This is a lettuce blend. I didn't really have luck with lettuce again this year. So I'll probably buy that from starts. We've got our bunching and our walla walla. Germination was eh. Considering they were all new seeds, I'm surprised by that. And then this is our leeks, which actually the seeds were not brand new and they did so much better. So you just never know. It's kind of, kind of a toss up. So I'm gonna cover all these because the rain is supposed to move back in and there are no holes in any of these containers because I started them downstairs, inside, and don't want to flood my basement because, thank you, I have enough mold issues. So I'm going to just cover all of these, the ones that are a little flimsy. I weigh them down with rocks I've collected from the beach. Actually, this is a piece of granite. A friend of mine has a house up in the Adirondacks. He brought that for me. And I'm just going to cover them up it starts to cool down because they've been in the house so they're not used to being out here so we want to ease them into it slowly but surely and B and I are going to go inside we're going to rest up feeling a little rough with the weather moving in but you could see you know primrose is coming up we've got some volunteer strawberries we've got some violas coming up some grape hyacinths and these primrose are actually in bloom I always forget the name of that, but it like disappears. So I, I always forget. I have the name inside, but that's what's going on here. Spring has sprung in New York. See you soon.